Morning folks. Right, welcome to this week's video. So we're down at South Elon Lakes on the Norfolk Suffolk border today. Bit of fly fishing today. We're gonna to try out this new rod here by uh, Sirius Fishing. And this is the Shakespeare Sigma Fly Combo. So welcome to this week's video guys. It is a very very windy day on the island of Sodor today I don't know how we'll get on today, but the um, the frog hall lake down there is pretty secluded So hopefully we'll get a couple of fish down there today So we're going to be using this new rod here by Sirius fishing. So this is a Shakespeare Sigma It's a fly combo. It retails at about 96 pounds and obviously as you can see it comes in a really nice Cordura case and uh, obviously you can keep the reel in the bag as well So we've got a five weight rod here, and that's a nine foot rod rod it's a four piece rod and let's just take a look what we've got inside so I haven't even taken this out of the uh, out of the box yet still got the plastic and the cable tie on there so let's like say it's a four piece five weight nine foot rod this is um, and I'm really looking forward to using this it literally comes pretty much ready to fish with so it's got a load of backing and some floating line on that and it's a weight forward floating line as well so we're going to fish two rods today so we're going to fish this with a floating line and I'm going to use my other rod with uh, either an intermediate or a sinking line and uh, hopefully we'll get a few fish on the bank <coughs> It's been a while since I've fished here. I think the last time I fished here was August last year and I didn't do too well, but it was hot, very hot. Anyway, we're in a nice little secluded area here. I can't see much on the surface, but you don't really expect it, do you, this time of the year? So anyway, let's uh, give this new rod a go. Hope we can christen that and uh, get a few fish on the bank. So we're at 25 quid for three fish here. Uh, so your first three fish you take out of this uh, this lake here, Frog Hall Lake, and then uh, you catch and release her on the uh, the other two lakes just over there. Right, so let's have a go at christening the new rod, shall we? So we've got a tapered leader onto the, the floating line that's already on this reel here, down to a 5X, and then we've got a tiny, tiny little gold-headed uh, Montana. So we'll give that a go first. All right, let's give this a go. Right, let's see how we go on the first cast. Hey, look at that, fish on, first cast. He smashed that. Lovely old job, wee. <laughs> first cast. We like this. He's staying quite low. I 
that was brown actually. And a bit of a brown fleck to it. Now it's a rainbow. Smashed that, and it's actually foul hooked. Oh, he's off. He's away. Never mind. Hey, fish on. Ah, it isn't as big as what I thought it was actually. an absolute stunner how big do you reckon he is let me know in the comments how big do you think he is I reckon he's about two and a half three pounds but yeah I think a stationary uh, gold-headed uh, Montana is the way to go I'd literally just put the rod down just to cut the cable tie off me uh, off my rod that I hadn't taken off and uh, BAM off she went right let's get that on the stringer and let's hopefully get another like that beautiful fish Lost that one. Hey, yes, he definitely liked that, and she's off. <laughs> Cracking, cracking take. Absolute cracking take. Whee. She's away. Did you see that? Smash that. What an absolute cracking day. It's, sun's come out, it's warm. We're smashing the fish. <laughs> he is off. Well, they like these gold headed Montanas, don't they? Not as big as the last one. There. Look at this little beaut. Oh, it's very, very 
slippery underfoot at the moment. Look at that. Lovely. Really, really good fight. Really, really good fight. We've got one fish left out of this lake, and then we have to go catch and release up at the other one, which is a bit of a hike, but it'll do. Smashing. Look at the colours on him. Absolutely lovely. Well, a cracking day so far. I can't believe it's what, what are we? 8th of February. And look at it, I'm in a t-shirt. Natural elk jerky. Natural elk, natural sea salt elk. Fish on, fish on. That was worth swapping over, wasn't it, really? Just swapped over to the intermediate line and I just put a booby about two foot and straight away, because it had gone really, really quiet. Not a monster, but that's our third fish. Oh, we lost him. Here we are, right on the last minute. Right at the last minute. He's sure shooting off. Right, let's hope we can keep this one on the hook. Let's hope we can keep this one on the hook. He's in the net. Shush there. There we are, number three. That one likes the boobies as well, but then who doesn't? Beautiful. So we've had our three fish here. Um, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to bother carrying on, uh, go and catch and release up there. I've had a cracking day today. So I'm going to donk this one on the head and uh, make my way up to the van, I think. 
Right, so there we go. Thanks for watching today's video. It's been a cracking day out here. I've really enjoyed it. It's been great to have a go at that new little rod there and uh, still trying to get to grips with this intermediate line business. So any hints and tips and stuff, please stick them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, it's been a cracking day out here today. What can I say? February and it's t-shirt weather. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button just there. And as always, a couple of videos for you to take a look at. And we'll see you next week on the next one.